Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and today I'm going to show you how to create absolute references in your structured reference formulas. In Excel 2007, Microsoft introduced structured, structured reference tables uh, that allowed you to create formulas where you reference the column names instead of the cell addresses. This uh, workbook that I'm going to use as, a, as an example is available for a free download at excelcampus.com so you can follow along. And I'm going to use this sum if formula as an example uh, because basically it requires structured references uh, to for us to copy the formula across. So we have uh, a reference to this color column in both the summary table and the data table and we want to keep that as an anchored reference when we copy the formula across to the other quarters. In the first row, I have uh, the exact same formula, but it uses cellular references. So you could see that the dollar sign in front of the column, no, the column name and the uh, the row number, uh, actually anchor that that reference to um, keep it locked there as we copy the formula across. So when we copy or drag that across, um, we we keep that anchor there to the color column, column E, and just change the reference to the last argument, which is the quarter column, and that'll create a proper sum if formula. However, when we attempt to do this with structured, uh, a formula that contains structured references, it, it doesn't work. So if I use this, this is again the exact same formula, referencing the, the color column and Q1 for units, and if I drag this across, uh, you'll see we we get uh, incorrect results. Basically, the all of the um, all the references are moving to the right, including the the range and criteria. So now we're referencing the region, and that's not correct. If I were to do a copy and paste, if I use Control C and Control V to copy and paste that formula across, uh, it does it doesn't work either. It just copies and pastes the exact same formula without changing any of the references. So now we just get the results for Q1 in each um, column. However, there is a workaround for this, and I'm not sure that Microsoft intended it for, intended for it to work this way, but it does work. Uh, and basically the solution is to duplicate the column reference uh, as if it were a range of columns, more than one column. And by doing so, that anchors the column, or the reference to the column. And when you drag it across, um, that reference doesn't change. So we'll basically anchor to the color column. And as we drag the formula across, it will keep the color column in that argument. But the uh, units reference will change to Q2, Q3, and Q4. So as I drag the formula across, you'll see that we now get the correct results. Uh, this this second column here references the still references the color column in the first two arguments, but then we reference uh, Q two in the last argument, which is correct. And we also do the same thing when we reference uh, a row the the same row uh, within the same table. So the second argument actually references this cell E eight here. Uh, and the at symbol tells you that we're referencing the same row within the table uh, and the color and the column being color. And we do the same thing by just duplicating the column reference. Uh, we can then anchor that reference in the argument. And you also have to have the table name uh, in front of that as well. And then the, the whole thing's wrapped in brackets. Unfortunately, you can't just add the dollar sign in front of the column names to anchor them. I wish that was the case. It would be a lot e uh, easier and cleaner notation. Uh, but so far, this is the only way that uh, i found to do this. So now I'm going to show you how to, uh, or the, I'm going to show you the fastest way that I've found to actually create these references. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to first clear out this first argument here in the SUMIF function and recreate it. Uh, so we want to, to reference the range, which is this uh, color column here in the data table. 
And if I highlight that entire column, you could see that it automatically changes to the, col the color column reference. And now if I drag to the right, you'll see that it adds the region column in there as well. So I'm going to leave that like that. And then I'm just going to go uh, highlight region and replace it with color. And basically, when uh, you start typing in a column name, there's a pop-up that um, comes up right here and you, if you just hit the tab key that'll auto fill in whatever that selected column name is so that's a quick way to to basically put that reference in there and we can do the same with the uh, the row reference as well so if I clear that out if I just click we want to reference this cell right here uh, but we want to have it anchored so if I click that you'll see that the at color column comes up and then if I drag over to the right one it'll automatically add all that notation there which is the table name and then um, all the the colon and the brackets so then all you need to do is change this to color and again as I start typing hit tab that'll autofill that and hit enter and your basically your formula will be updated one final and important thing to note is that you, uh, in order for this to work, you have to drag the, this, the formula across the columns. You can't do a copy and paste. And what I mean by drag is to uh, hover over the bottom right corner until you get that plus symbol for your mouse cursor, and then hold down the cell and uh, drag your mouse across and let go. And that drags the, the formula across and changes the reference uh, the last, basically the reference in the last argument of the function there to Q2 and Q3 and Q4. So that's an important step. You can't copy and paste these. You actually have to drag them across for the uh, references to change. I hope you find this useful, and if you find a faster or easier way to do this, please let us know. Thank you.